India's ambitious journey towards self-reliance in defense manufacturing marked a significant milestone with Prime Minister Narendra Modi personally test-flying the indigenously built Tejas Light Combat Aircraft, LCA. This event underscored the nation's growing confidence in its military-industrial capabilities, particularly as the Indian Air Force, IAF, seeks to expand its fleet with an additional 97 Tejas jets, in a deal valued at around US$7 billion. Prime Minister Modi's sortie in the Tejas, taking place in Bengaluru, where Hindustan Aeronautics Limited, HAL, is headquartered, was not just a test flight but a strong statement of support for the Make in India initiative in defense production. He later shared his experience on social media, expressing immense pride and confidence in India's indigenous capabilities and the potential for national advancement. The IAF has proposed to the Ministry of Defense's Defense Acquisition Council, chaired by Defense Minister Rajnath Singh, to purchase these 97 additional Tejas LCA MK-1A jets from HAL. This proposal, expected to be discussed at a council meeting on November 30, follows the IAF's already placed order for 83 LCA MK-1A variants in February 2021, valued at US$6 billion. Two squadrons of the Tejas MK-1 jets, comprising 20 aircraft each of initial and final operational clearance variants, are already operational in the IAF. These jets are intended to replace the aging Soviet-era MiG-21s, with the first batch of LCA MK-1A jets expected to be delivered in early 2024. The LCA Tejas is a multi-role light combat aircraft designed by the Aeronautical Development Agency, ADA, in collaboration with House Aircraft Research and Design Center, ARDC. It was developed from the Light Combat Aircraft, LCA, program which began in the 1980s. The LCA Tejas was initially flown in 2001. The Tejas is the second aircraft developed by HAL with the intention of achieving supersonic performance, after the HAL HF-24 Marat. The Tejas achieved initial operational certification in 2011 and final operational certification in 2019. There are currently three production models of the Tejas, the Mark I, the Mark I-A, and a training version. The IAF has ordered 32 Mark I, 73 Mark I-A, and 18 Mark I trainer aircraft. The indigenous content in the Tejas Mark I is 59.7% in value and 75.5% in the number of replaceable units in line. The Tejas Mark II is currently in development and is expected to be ready for mass production by 2026. The Tejas program represents not only a significant boost to India's defense capabilities but also its aspirations to become a major arms exporter. India has showcased the Tejas at international air shows, including the recent Dubai Air Show, competing against Chinese J-10C in Pakistan's JF-17 Thunderblock three fighter aircraft. Despite its efforts, India's first major export attempt of the Tejas to Malaysia did not materialize, losing out to South Korea's F-A-50 jets. Interest in the Tejas jets has been noted in countries like Argentina, the Philippines, and Nigeria, each with varying degrees of engagement and considerations. However, competition from other international offerings and decisions remains a challenge for India's export ambitions. HAL, the manufacturer of the Tejas, faces a significant production challenge. Currently, HAL can produce only 16 jets annually across two production lines and is working towards establishing a third line to increase its capacity to 24 jets per year. This production capacity is crucial as HAL needs to meet the demands of the IAF and potential export commitments.